In Stardrop, it's easy to cluster datasets to identify groups of similar compounds. In this dataset, I have a number of different chemical series. I've also created a chemical space of these compounds, which allows me to visualize relationships between them in terms of their structural similarities. From the Tools menu, I can access the Clustering tool. This enables me to cluster compounds on the basis of similarities between their structures, or on the basis of similarities between any of the properties available in the dataset. In this case, I'm going to cluster these compounds based purely upon their structural similarities. I can define a level of similarity that determines a cluster, and then I click the Cluster button. Two new columns have been added to the dataset. The first tells you the number of the cluster to which the compound belongs, and the second indicates whether the compound is a member of a cluster, a singleton, or the cluster centroid. Here in the chemical space, we can now colour the points based upon the cluster numbers to which they belong. From this we can see that the clustering corresponds well with the visualisation in the chemical space. We can use these cluster numbers in a number of different ways. For example, I can trellis any plot on the basis of the cluster number. Here I have a snake plot showing me the score of every compound in my dataset. Using the cluster number, I can trellis this into a number of individual plots, one for each cluster. If I detach this plot and expand it out, I can now see the distribution of scores for each of the clusters. From this, it's easy to see the cluster which has the best score and the best overall balance of properties that we need for our project. If I select these compounds in the trellis, I can see them highlighted in the chemical space as I consider them for more detailed analysis.